Roland Moret, at 61, has claimed that Kate Middleton had helped inspire his latest collection. Mr. Moret was also behind Princess of Wales' £2,700,000 black and white dress, which he had wore to the Top Gun Maverick premiere in London back in May. As Roland was behind the black and white dress that the Royal had donned for the Top Gun Maverick premiere in London this May. In a bold look, through the to be most daring to date. As speaking to the Sunday Times, the London based French designer had revealed that he is proud that he is able to do things that can help her, he had said. As she represents the way a woman grows and the way a woman stands not behind, but beside. Moret, who is known for the seductive form of hugging numbers, had added that make things that she feels protected and at the moment, is when the world is looking at her, and I've done a little part in the protecting of her. As Kate had stolen the show at the time of the Top Gun sequel's premiere in the £2,700,000 Moray evening dress, with her brunette locks swept back behind her ears so that her toned physique was front and centre, as the revealing number was thought to be a departure for Kate, who chose to wear more demeanour looks like the movie premieres in the past especially as the dress was a past season and a very difficult to get a hold of, and that is now mostly available to rental websites. As not anymore, the brand has reissued the design and that is now known as the Candy, as it cost £895 and currently all sizes are available. Although it is selling out fast, so how exciting. As this event, the royal couple proceeded to meet the star-studded cast who had featured in the film, including the Hollywood veteran Tom Cruise, the divergent star Miles Teller. Kate, along with William, had walked the red carpet with Tom, who at once at point memorably helped Kate up the stairs with a gentleman. However, Roland has been described as Meghan Markle's go-to designer and established a close friendship with the Duchess of Sussex as the pair were even snapped together back in 2006, and Meghan wore a Roland Moray dress on the eve of her wedding in 2018. And before, Roland designed a Meghan wedding dress, but Moray has not yet confirmed or denied the pondering question. Coming from the typical royal wedding dress guessing game, as we've been here many times before, after all, in the fashion world, pros have added that Stuart Parvin Victoria Beckham, who has allegedly shared that she wants to design the gown, Alexander McQueen, and Erdem, to the list of talent that could be lined up for arguably the biggest wedding commission of the year. I know Roland Beret has joined the list of potential wedding dress designers for the Markles Commission. Celebrity stylist Miranda Holder had told Fernhill at the time that the dress had distinctively more sultry than it looked that we usually see in the mother of three. The form-fitting dress had highlighted the Duchess's shape, and her sling back hem and cleverly applied body shimmer brought to attention to her toned arms and crystal shoulders. As the fashion was shocked when it was announced that last November that Moray's brand was put in administration and that he had closed the Mayfair store, as the designer had to let go of his 80 workers, it was they seen as an abrupt collapse of his life's work. As the closure and the brand's dire financial situation were blamed on the coronavirus crisis, which saw Murray face cancellation after cancellation as the world had shut down to see out the pandemic. In 2020, as the label had previously survived fears of bankruptcy in 2010, and the designer generated sales of £16 million in 2019, but made a profit of just £950,000.